If you are a 3D artist, you probably know crowd is a, such an amazing thing to have in your project, right? You see? Wow, that's so amazing, honestly. This is not only an extra people. This is powerful tool to create motion in your scene. This is an amazing tool to create scale in your scene, you see? Wow, that's why I fell in love with it, honestly. So with this, I began my journey in crowd. We talk about ragdoll. We talk about uh, locomotion and we talk about layer, uh, uh, AKA attachment. And we talk about relationship, simulate vellum cloth with a crowd, for example. And even we create a simple and basic battle scene all in these playlists. And we render that efficiently using Houdini. But honestly, with all that, when I want crowd in my project, <laughs> it's so headache, honestly, to me. Why? Because it's so hard to have all this power in your project. Yeah, it's so complex. So, so with that, in this video, we have a solution to simplify all that and use crowd in simple and yet smart way. So let's begin. Hi everyone, this is Daizen, welcome back. And without further ado, let's begin. But before that, let me thank these amazing people supporting me on my website. Thank you guys, you made my journey as always delightful. So with that, let's go. What if I want crowd in Houdini? We need three phase to have that. The first one, is asset of course we need full character rig for example or we need a 3d object for attachment like gun cloth etc the phase two of course creating agent right for example usually we loading fbx file creating collision layer and creating configure joint and adding multiple clip uh, yeah this is very annoying thing to have over and over so let me show you our version and simplify version we offer so this is a new tools we call it crowd x you see this is an amazing simple digital asset and as you can see we have agent now and you can have multiple agent it's have name and you can create agent from fbx file or a character rig you see we have that and we can select our fbx file and voila we have our crowd you see this is so amazing and we can do that with character rig uh, if you want to modify your agent let's say you can load it through fbx character import and you can specify this shape and joint and voila we have the same agent now that's so amazing so we have our agent now if i want to create animation we have that in animation tab and we have that as a fx and motion clip and we can select multiple clip to import that using this bulk import thank you to Assam. shukran habibi <laughs> that was amazing so in a crowd we have something very cool called ragdoll right this is very cool future you can interact with your agent physically for example creating this amazing effect right falling or colliding with another a rbd object this is very cool previously of course we need to set up our collision shape for each point wow that's so frustrating honestly and after that you must create joint limit you see with this handle you need to specify the limit for every each joint but we have a simpler version to that in crowd x we have two options manually you can create your collision shape and create your agent configure joint and draw all this limit you see if you need that we have this option for flexibility so yeah who needs that honestly we have another one called automatically auto mode and as you can see you can specify any clip you have and you can train your agent automatically that will create a collision shape and joint limit wow <laughs> honestly <laughs> that's very cool and this is our ragdoll test you see boom 
nice wow this is amazing and this is work perfectly with Miximo character and we're gonna make it better and better in the future and what about attachment we need for example a object to this agent you see we have our gun and we have this attachment tab and as you can see we can drag that here and attach it to our joint and as you can see now we can adjust our gun transition of course based on your need and this is our attachment you see very simple without any complex setup man love it so this is our gun what if i want to detach this gun from the agent when the ragdoll happening remember you need to create extra joint and you need to assign this gun to that joint and you need to disable joint limit to that joint wow that's a lot let me show you our version in crowdix only you need to enable this one a drop on ragdoll and recalculate your ragdoll and as you can see boom you have it congratulations Damn! satisfying honestly love it so what if i want a cloth to your agent for example to simulate that using vellum you see we have this grid and we assign it to the agent and if i enable vellum packed we assign this vellum to this crowd you see and this is it just create your vellum cloth and pack your vellum and after your simulation you need to unpack it using agent vellum unpack and as you can see we select a layer and we creating our vellum solver you see that's amazing you have that but if you want to attach this cloth to your agent of course you need attach geometry constraint you see and with that guess what working without any complexity you see now with all that power you have your agent and you can create your crowd using any source in the input as you can see and you can have different variation including multiple agent multiple clips and multiple attachment you see based on this percentage and you can have multiple crowd and merge that for battle scene for example you see this is very cool so far so good if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and share it if you want that's make me so grateful guys thank you in advance so let's go to last phase simulation we need to simulate all this crowd and we designed this crowd x very flexible we tried at least so with that you have all the permission to create your simulation using shelf tools yeah be my guest and create your own simulation without needing any crowd limitation crowd x limitation you see you can use this dop network and all this complexity i don't love dop network honestly yeah i must admit it i don't love it or you can use our solution in crowd x for simulation so you can create another crowd x and you can go in simulation config you see and now you have a tons of future as you can see and you can play and as you can see we have dop network underneath without bothering you and waste your time in dop network and of course we have set of actions we designed this action for tab you can have multiple action you can have transition and you can have a lot of things for example this transition it's have a guide geometry you can guide this transition through this sphere and you can specify the distance and you can visualize this trigger and as you can see you can have all that and just play boom you have your ragdoll very easily using this action see very cool and of course you can make this sphere dynamic you see just with one click just change this config to dynamic and boom and you can create another action for example if the sphere near this object goes to the ragdoll state and of course you can have a fracture geometry you see using rbd material fracture and boom and you can have a stick object remember for example this object we have that 
and I want to stick this object to our crowd you see very easy you can enable stick here and make that zero and play voila you see this object stick without any extra setup and of course you can have ragdoll with that you see wow this is so cool and for example if you have a static object like dragon or car you can make your object static and animate that you see this sphere is animated now not driving by the dynamic or rbd bullet solver and of course with that you can have multiple action for example you can have this path walk for the crowd and you can have of course the crowd attract for a certain point for example and of course you can have your crowd interact with other agent for battle scene you see now we have this crowd and you can specify the group here you see this is the bot group and we need to specify that for ragdoll for example if the bot group reach this another agent go to the ragdoll state you see and of course you can attract this agent to other agent for example we can target all these agents you see every agent going to the target agent very simple only with one tap and you can have your look at you see and i will create a video tutorial after this and stay subscribed for that i will show you that in detail and we have very cool logical stuff what is that let me show you you see this agent the bot with the gun it's looking for the agent but it's falling down and it's reasonable to disable this attraction after the agent falling down so how we can disable that we can add this option you see stop this attraction when state number four trigger number four it's the ragdoll of that agent you see if that agent going to ragdoll attraction will be disabled this is very cool logical stuff i will talk about that in the next video of course you see all that is the simulation phase very cool and awesome so what about rendering and what about rendering that efficiently in solaris and have variation and that we will add it in the next release of course so stay tuned for that you see this is crowd x the first version honestly with all that future i love it this is my favorite tool to be honest but having said that you see we have a lot of future but do you want another one let me show you we have relationship too you see with this relationship tab you can specify the parent and the child very easily and you can have that and if you want the parent detach on ragdoll you can do that only with one tick <laughs> very amazing and convenient to be honest i love it so this is crowd x the first version ladies and gentlemen and if you're interested you can purchase it using the link in the description and this is for you for the lifetime without any licensing stuff on all this shitty stuff. So you can have free update forever. And if you want to test that before the purchasing that, you can subscribe to Champion Tier. This is free for all Champion Tier. You can subscribe and test all X series digital asset. And with that, see you in the next one. Peace out.